Namaskaram. This question is asked in 2020 based on relation between LCM and HCF. The link to this lecture is given below in description, comment section as well. I request you to kindly go through it. Very important lecture. You may expect one or two questions based on it. What is the greatest length x such that 3 and half meters and 8 3 by 4 meters are integral multiples of x? Integral multiples of x, okay, x into some integer, you are getting 3 and half, x into some integer, okay, you are getting 8, 3 by 4. So, you know, integral multiples of it, that means x is a factor, my friends, okay, factor of 3 and half and 8, 3 by 4. And it is said that this factor should be greatest, x should be greatest, that means highest, okay. So, we are asked to find highest common factor for 3 and half and 8, 3 by 4, my friends, okay. X is the factor for both of this. So, it is a common factor, okay, and it should be highest. So, we are asked to find out HCF. We will solve this problem in two ways. One is conventional method, that is finding out the HCF. Second one is making use of options. We'll come to this latter first. We'll go through conventional method. Sometimes, you know, by using options, we may not get the answer. Two options may be, you know, giving the same answer. Otherwise, it would be time consuming. So, it is very important for you to know for every problem, okay, for you to know conventional method. If you see, these are not just normal numbers. These are fractions, my friends, okay. Three and half. Three and, and means plus half, okay. So, by 2, 3 into 2 is 6, 6 plus 1, that is 7 by 2. So, this is a mixed fraction. I have written it as, you know, complete fraction, okay. So, 8, uh, 3 by 4, 8 and 3 by 4, okay. 8 plus 3 by 4, 4. So, 8, 4 is uh, 32. 32 plus 3, that is uh, 35 by 4. So, we have to find out the HCF of fraction 7 by 2 and 35 by 4. So, we have the formula. The formula is given in that lecture. HCF of fraction that is HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. Okay, when we say HCF, HCF will be in the numerator. Okay, HCF of numerators that is 7 and 35. Okay, HCF of 7 and 35 by LCM of denominators, denominators 2 and 4. What is the highest common factor of 7 and 35? That is 7, my friends. Okay, what is the least common multiple of 2 and 4? That is 4. We have seen them in LCM and HCF lecture. So, 7 by 4, okay. So, 4 plus 3 by 4. 7, I am writing it as 4 plus 3. So, 4 by 4 is 1, 3 by 4, okay, 1 and 3 by 4, 1, 3, 4, okay, so answer is D. Let's say we are asked to find LCM of these fractions, okay, in that case, you will be having LCM here, here you will be having HCF, okay, N and D, numerator and denominator, they will be as it is, okay, so when it is HCF, you will be having HCF here and LCM in the denominator, when it is LCM, you would be having LCM in numerator and HCF in denominator. The formula is very simple. And you know how to find out the HCF and uh, LCM of these numbers. Now let's make use of options. I said, you know, X into something should give 3 and half. We are just checking this first, okay? And we'll eliminate the options. And let's take X as A, 1 and half, 1 and half, 1 za, okay? Integral multiples, 1 and half, 1 za, 1 and half. So, we need to get 3 and half. Let's check with 2. 1 and half 2 is 1 and half plus 1 and half. Okay. That is 3 my friends. Whereas, we have to get 3 and half. Let's say you add 1 and half more to this. You would be getting, okay, 4 and half. So, there is no way we will be getting 3 and half. So, eliminate option A. 1, 1 third. Okay. 1, 1 third. 2 is 2, 2 by 3. If you add 1 more, 1 third, you would be getting 2 plus 1, 3. 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. That is 3 by 3. 3 by 3 means 1. This is equal 4. So, we are not getting 3 and half again. So, this is also not correct. This is 4, my friends. Please correct this. So, 1, 1 by 4 into 2. So this is 2 and half. If you add 1, 1 by 4 again. 
okay 3 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 that is a 3 by 4 so we are not getting 3 and half again so eliminate this now 1 3 by 4 1 3 by 4 2 is a 2 plus 3 by 4 into 2 okay so this is 3 by 2 3 by 2 means 1 1 and half okay so that is a 3 1 by 2 so yes this satisfies so our answer is d we need not check 8 3 by 4 my friends okay just checking 3 and half we are getting the answer if there is one more option which is also giving okay that option into some integral that is equal 3 and half in that case you have to check for 8 3 by 4 that is why i am telling you learning the conventional method is very very important you need not go through this much okay you could directly get the answer and here it is very clear we are asked to find hcf okay now let's say it is not clear now please pay attention to this observation hcf is less than or equal to given numbers is less than or equal to lcm in options all of them are less than given numbers my friends okay 3 8 okay all of them are less than you know 2 so they are definitely less than 3 that means we are asked to find out the hcf in case if this is not clear then you can apply this logic whereas it is very clear in this problem okay there shouldn't be doubt in that if you have given set of numbers their factors okay their factor should be less than or equal to the given numbers okay and these numbers should be less than or equal to their multiples hope this is clear okay integral multiples of x that means x is the factor here okay it comes here so the takeaway point from this problem is please remember the formulas for lcm and hcf of fractions my friends okay we are dealing with fractions in this problem generally we know how to find out lcm and hcf whereas for fractions the formulas are different so you need to remember them